All right, so let's set up a system. And that system will look like um, your original equation that you're going to get on your quiz would be, let's see, x plus y plus z is equal to 9. 2x minus y minus z is equal to negative 6. Negative x plus 2y minus 3z. Okay, I'll move here in one second. Negative 10. There you go. Thank you for telling me that. Um, Brenda, can I just move this one? Thank you. All right. So then I don't want to get an Aiden's way. All right. All right. So it'll look like this. So now we're going to use one of the rows to reduce the others. So I need, I need the, all of the x's gone except for one row in the first column. All right, so I need, I need this 2x gone and I need that negative x gone right there. So here's where a lot of your credit is going to come from. So hopefully you can all see to eliminate this x right here all i'm going to have to do is use this one and just add it straight down so if i'm using if i'm just adding it straight i'm just gonna i have to add every element and keep it balanced boom and then i'll be done right we'll do this here in a second but then if i want to get rid of this that means i'm going to need to multiply i'm going to need this to be a negative 2x and none of us are special enough just to multiply this. We have to multiply the entire row by negative 2. And then each of the elements would add together. Or, yeah, well, we're, we're going to do, we're just going to add that one. Oh, you mean, because once I've done this, I would have eliminated that one. Oh. Okay. So I see what you're saying. You see it. I do not have okay. mine for six period two. Can you get me? Is there any way you can get me that envelope? Sure, yeah. yeah, just drop it off. That'd be great. That'll okay. remind me. Thank you so much. Because, like, that's that's the same question he just asked. Because it will be gone here in a minute. All right. So let's. No, I guess if you wanted to do, if no, it wouldn't matter. So if you did. So, okay, so. So, if, if you wanted to do it a different way, you could multiply the bottom row by two and then add it to that row. Then you would only have x's in the first and third. Then you would have to eliminate one of those. And it would be obvious to do that. It doesn't matter. Now, however you see it, but it has to be. Yes, as long as it, the rule is keep everything equal, right? You can't change anything. So that's the original. That will be on your quiz. Yeah, uh, your quiz. Now, for for you to get partial credit, this is how I really I, I set the key up this way. I would advise you, you your proper presentation of math. We always start on the left and go down. If you go horizontally, that's fine. Just keep everything aligned. And this is what I advise. I advise. You, your step one is going to be there. I'm going to label that step one. So if someone goes horizontally, I can find theirs. If someone goes vertically, I can find theirs. No big deal. So I personally am going to choose to add row one and row three. All right. So row one, I'm going to use it for row two as well. So row one is not going to change. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite row one. Now, when I when I add that to um, let's do I'm going to do do them in order. I'm going to do I'm going to do get rid of the x in the second row first, and then we'll deal with the third row in the minute. So just a little note for myself. I can put this here. I'm going to multiply everything by a negative two. So. Uh, I would like it if this was a group activity. I, I, I understand people are nervous, right? So, but I would like it. So I'm going to call out 
negative 2 to I'll, I'll delete these. So I'm going to do negative 2 times my particular value. And then I'll get a response. And then we'll add that to the values below it. All right. And then hopefully you don't have to just uh, I feel like it's a good good check in with yourself and you know whether to answer questions. Ask questions. Never can mix up. No, you def no, you have to you have to follow it through the whole way. If I understood your question. So you did you did if you did this for the X, right? Right? Then all the Y's and the Z's and the constants are gonna be added. And so, then you could do manipulate the other ones. Maybe when you try to eliminate the Y in the second row. When you only want the Y. Oh, so you're saying you you want to get rid of Y in the second row? So if you do if you do the first one, you get rid of the x in both the rows, but you do it like you go you add the first and the third, or you have to add the first and the third again when you're trying to get rid of the two y. No, no, you no, no, you can just do whatever right. whatever it takes. Yeah, as long as everything's equal. Okay, I get you. All right, so let's do. Um, well, you want to just keep. I mean, I could do your way if you want. For, let, all right, let's just do it. Okay, so I'm going to say negative two times that. So help me out. So I'm asking, I'm asking, what is negative two times x? Need two x, right? Add that to two x. Zero. So I'm going to write it and then I'll delete it, right? You can write it until I'm not actually going to write this, but I'll I'll erase it when we're done because no one writes y, right? Then I'm going to do. So once I've multiplied, I've multiplied this row right here by negative two. So that means I have to roll, multiply every element in it by negative two. So now negative two times y is negative two y. Add that to negative y. What does that give me? Negative three y. Okay, one more time. Negative two times y is negative two y. Add that to negative y. I'm saying negative two y. Add that to negative y, that gives me negative 3y. Okay, and I will tell you that let's just pretend you can show this work. If you didn't know how to do, this is the work you have to show. If you weren't comfortable with negative 2 plus a negative 1, you could do that on the calculator and then write it on, you know, you know, and and, and, and I'm not being I'm facetious with negative 2 and negative 1, but let's say you had a 56 and a negative 32. Or us even too easy. Well, anything, anything you were worried about and you wanted assessment grade, right? So help me out. So negative two times z. How many z's are there then? Negative two z's. I had to add that to a negative z. What does that give me? Negative three z. Well done. So now I've got a negative two times nine. So that's negative eighteen. I'm going to add that to what number? Negative six. Gives me a negative twenty-four. Would you agree? Okay. And I'm just not going to write the zero just because we just don't. If you write it, I'm not going to mark it wrong. All right, now I'm going to eliminate the X from the bottom row. So I'm going to choose to use my row one. I'm going to just add, let's make a little note here what we've done. So I would uh, I'd make a little arrow here. I'd start off with my little arrow, keep it nice and small. Uh, this is uh, negative two times row one plus row two. So there's a ton of credit right there. Even if you messed something up, I can find out where you went wrong. Uh, we did negative two times nine. Yep, negative two times nine is negative 18. Then I added that to negative six. Yep. Um. So now let's go and do the final row. So I'm going to, all I need to do is add X to negative X and it's gone. So that means I'm going to add all of the elements. So help me out. X plus negative X is gone. What's Y plus 2Y? 3Y. Help me out. What do I add next? Z minus 3Z. Does everyone see that? Z minus 3Z. Okay. 
so that gets me how many Z? Okay. I don't want to say name because you're recording it, but you've got it. You're going to do well. All right, let's see everyone else catch up. Ready? So, and then I've got nine plus what? Negative 10. Help me out. I don't have my calculator. Nine plus negative 10. Negative one. All right, so let's make a little note about what we did here for our credit. And actually for credit, but this is how you do row reduction because the arithmetic, the arithmetic errors compound quickly. So this is row one plus row three. That's our first step done. Our second step. Well, let's take input from the class. So um, we really, we really want in a perfect world. We don't want to. We'd like to not. We are going to end up with x in the first row, y and z in the second row, and then z in the third row. In a perfect world, I'd go down, step down there. So you can row swap. That's fine. But it's a. We could we could take care of that situation right now. What should I do? Should I add? Um, should I? Should I add row two to row three, or add row three to row two? I know it seems the same. Add row two, add row two to row three, right? Because that would get rid of there, and then so let's do that. So, so my x plus my y plus my z are the same. Then my negative 3y, I'm going to use this one, so that stays the same. Now, I'm adding negative 3y to 3y. That's gone. I'm adding negative 3z to negative 2z. So help me out. How much is that? Negative 5z's. And then negative 24, negative 21. Negative 1 gets me negative 25. Now, uh, let's write a little what we did. We added row two plus row three. Z is five. So I'm totally fine with you if you just switch that in right now. We could do that. I would actually, let's, let's, uh, we can even mark that up. Let's just do that. So x plus y plus z is equal to 9. Negative 3y minus 3z is equal to negative 24. And z equals 5. And then we'll call that simplifying. Let's split our screen, and then I'll look for your next work, and your next work will show up up here. So move left to right. If you'd gone horizontally, as long as I can find your numbers, that's going to be fine. So I'm going to start up there. So I'm going to start with uh, x plus y plus z equal to 9. Now, I know... Um, z is equal to 5. So at this point, it's your test and your, uh, your points. So you can show as many steps as you want. But let's also, we could also just do it, right? So we know if, if this is, we're going to, we're going to, this step's going to be called back substitution. So if this is 5, negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Bullheads? Yeah. So then I want to isolate this. So negative 15 means I add 15. Right. And let's say I'm not very good with my numbers. I could type that in here. Right. Gets you negative nine. And then you want to divide that by a negative three. So I'm not very good with my numbers. I type that in. Right. And, or, or, or I just had a bad day. I'm not feeling well or, you know, something. And then just 
divide, so y is equal to 3. So then we can write y is equal to 3, and we give our little line, we back sub right there. You mean you could, if you had more room, you could do back sub row 3 into row 2, but it's, I'm, I'm going to be fine with that. Z is equal to 5. We've already explained where that step came from. All right. Now, you really don't need to do anything else because we know y is 3, z is 5. So I see, I see 3 and 5, uh, 8, right? So then 8, well, x equals 1. So now we've got uh, x equals 1, y equals 3. Z equals five. However, you if you've gotten this far, to quite honest with you, I'm just gonna let you can write your answer. You could either leave it, you could either if you even wrote it like and just circled it, I'd be fine. You could write it as an ordered triple. Something like that. Right? But the bulk of the, the 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 message in the mission here is to row reduce and keep track of what you're doing. It's very computer programming like, you know, it's exactly what it is. All right, so so some skills there. All right, so um, that's it. So the key is made. The only one since it's the same as the other keys, the only one I've done is the new one of these. So you check with your neighbors on how, you know, the other ones are done. When I hand it out to you, I would immediately mark which ones are going to be work required for credit and which ones aren't. So if you just mark one, then you, you've got everything. Is there any question for the video for anyone that's not here? Okay. All right. Let's end that. Thank you.